Three former Camels from this year's record-setting baseball team are now playing in the minor leagues. One very far away, Ben McEwen currently hitting over 300 for the Arizona A's in the Arizona Rookie League. But two former Camels are playing much closer to home. One, Ryan Mattis, playing for the Royals affiliate in the Rookie Appy League, just up the road in Burlington. Matt Marksberry playing for the Braves affiliate in Danville. And we'll show you just how close they are as we're going to visit both ballparks and both players in one day. <laughs> Our first stop is we caravan to see former camels just 82 miles away in Burlington, North Carolina, home of the Burlington Royals, the Rookie League and Appalachian League affiliate of the Kansas City Royals and the new team for Ryan Mattis. It made me a lot more relaxed knowing that I had people here to support me and, and uh, it, home wasn't very far. Campbell's been my home you know, fast four years and it's, it's, it's nice to have home, you know, pretty close. Mattis is starting to feel right at home here in Burlington, where new fans are giving him a warm welcome. It's more than I expected, you know. I didn't think that I'd be treated like this at this level. I, you know, I thought it'd be like a summer league team. Um, but the kids really look up to you and you have to watch everything you do, you know, because they're always watching. They want to see how the pros do it. You know, it's funny because I feel like I was that age, you know, yesterday. So it's different. It's very different. Autographs are a fun part of his pro career, but don't worry about Mattis getting a big head. Trying to be the most humble, trying to be the hardest worker, you know, always competing even in our conditioning, the, the, the small moments, because in baseball, baseball's always watching. It's the little things that, that add up and, you know, and, and turn you into a better player. You never know who's watching. It's great. I'm so fortunate to be among, you know, I think a couple thousand that, that get the opportunity to play, be a part of what would happen at Campbell, and then to be able to still keep my career going playing baseball. It's, it's been an amazing experience. Just two hours from Bowie's Creek and an hour from Burlington is the Appalachian League affiliate of the Atlanta Braves and the new home here in Danville, Virginia of Matt Marksberry. It's been crazy. I, uh, I remember getting the phone call and then finding out I'm drafted and then I got a phone call about 30 minutes later saying you're, we got you a plane ticket to go down to Orlando. You're leaving the next day. I only was home for about a week then I had to go back and leave. So. It's been fun though. I mean, it's it's been it's been grueling. I mean, I haven't been home for a long time and just got off college season, start the season back up, getting ready. So it's been tough, but I mean, I wouldn't I'd it wouldn't be one to do something else. It's a lot different. It's the game's a lot quicker. I mean, your work ethic becomes your own job security. So I mean, if you don't work hard, you're not going to make it. And I've pushed myself to the limit this past couple of weeks and months, getting ready to get be the best pitcher I can be. So, I mean, it's a lot different in college, but I mean, I learned a lot in college to help me get through the seasons here. A 15th round draft pick of the Atlanta Braves, Marks Berry is at the end of a whirlwind year with the memory of a Campbell team he'll never forget. I wasn't where I wanted to be at last year and I went and worked hard to get better to where I am at right now. And coming off that atrocity of not getting put in a regional, I mean, it was kind of sad to see that. I mean, we were a great team. We should have been in it. It was disappointing, but then it got cheered up a little bit when I found out I was going to go play pro ball. So I did that and come up here. I'm going to miss the guys, though. Great team. I'm going to miss those guys. As will many Campbell fans. But with former Camels starting their pro careers so close to home, at least for now, the sun has not yet set on this magical season. With the Camel Spotlight, I'm Chris Haymeyer.